Long ago, scientists were unsure of what volcanoes really were. Some thought they were burning mountains of fire. Today, they know that these ferocious explosions are openings in the Earth's crust that allow lava, ash, and gas to escape from the hot inside of the Earth below. Let's look at the six main parts of volcanoes and explore their functions. The first volcano part is the crater. This is a circular depression at the mouth of the volcano. This is the area that the lava and hot ash erupt from. Craters come in all sizes. Here's an example of one. Next is the lava. Lava is formed from liquid rock that flows out of a volcano. Lava is red hot as it flows and can be seen glowing at nighttime. Cones are a cone-shaped hill formed as volcanic material from volcano eruptions that fall and pile up around the volcanic openings. Cones can form in many sizes. Here's an example of a cone. Hot liquid rock under the Earth's surface is known as magma. Magma collects in a chamber under the Earth until it is ready to explode. Magma is then called lava after it comes out of a volcano. A volcanic vent is an opening exposed on the Earth's surface where volcanic material is emitted. Vents are usually located on the side of a volcano. Hawaii has volcanoes with many side vents that have built the islands with their very wide bases. Ashes very small fragments of lava and rock blasted into the air by volcanic explosions. Ash looks and feels like grains of sand and very fine ash are powdery. Here's a picture of a real volcano exploding ash. Volcanoes are very exciting. Let's review now. The basic parts of a volcano are the crater, lava, vent, cone, magma, and ash.